So this question looks like it's going to be potentially a translate word problem question. Let's read it and see exactly what it is asking us to do. So the very first sentence here says the volume of sphere A is 20 cubic centimeters. Okay, so I can write V, I'm going to just put a little A there, is equal to 20. Now the first page of the math test tells me what the volume of or how to find the volume of a sphere. So if I check it, if I check that out, I'll see that the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to just rewrite this as four thirds pi r cubed equals 20. Now I'm going to keep on simplifying. I typically would just keep simplifying because I know usually where this is heading, right? We only have one variable. There's only one unknown thing here. So we're most likely going to have to solve for r. But let's go ahead and read and see exactly why we're doing that. So the next sentence here says sphere B has a radius that is two times the radius of sphere A. So this is why we're finding the radius of sphere A, so that we can then multiply it by two in order to have our radius of sphere B. So I'm going to start off the math here by multiplying by three-fourths on both sides. That cross cancels out my four-thirds. So I'm left with pi r cubed equals 20 I would just say 20 over 1 times 3 over 4. I can cross cancel there. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 25 times. I'm left with 5 times 3 over 1 times 1. So pi r cubed is equal to 15. I can then divide both sides by pi. So take that into my calculator. And my calculator tells me that 15 divided by pi is equal to 4.77. So I'm left with r cubed equals... 4.77, there's more numbers there. So I'm not gonna leave it at 4.77. I'm gonna use all the digits in my calculator. So then I'm gonna cube root that number in my calculator. So cube root it, and that tells me that R is equal to 1.68. And again, there's more numbers after that. So I'm gonna now multiply that long number by two so that I have the radius of sphere B. So for sphere B, my radius is 3.36 or 3.37 actually is 3.367 so I'm around up to 3.37 um, and in fact in reality I'm not really rounding I'm just using the number in my calculator so this just keeps on going and then I'm gonna plug that number into my volume formula so, right so I have four thirds pi instead of r it's this number here to the third power so I'm going to just cube this in my calculator and then multiply that by the 4 thirds pi. And what I get here is 160 as my answer.